welcome to one more video until now we have uh, a working UI an adapter okay a recycle view a test view and a button okay so in this video we will gonna make the extruder of our project and uh, set up uh, our view model okay in the common way so I'm just going to organize my files in package, okay? I will have a package called the UI, okay? I will move all my all, all UI components like main activity, adapter and fragments, you put it here. I will just create the data that I will, where I will place the data class like phrase okay in the data in the data package I will also create the room okay the local database okay like room database I will call it local local database and one more package for models okay where I will place my models and I can close this so here oh, I have the main activity okay so I will call it I will create a new package called the main okay the main UI where I can place the main activity and the other components that my activity will use like my view model okay you can create the view model here or create just a, a new package here and call it okay view models and you 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 place in the view models package how you view how you view models okay how view models of your project you will put it here but i i personally like to place each view model for each ui ui package okay like for main activity i create here my view my main activity view model like I will call it main view model okay it's a class and that's it so for my view model I will just extend it for view model it is a class sorry okay so I have my view model so since I will use the coin for injection dependence for now I will just create the common way so that in the next video I will convert it to use the coin dependence ejection okay we need a repository okay that we hold all our data so we have our view model in our view model what we're going here we need to have the we need to call this from in our main activity okay I cannot remove this that was that for just for test our recycle view and we have seen that it's working fine without problems so here I will create the main view model, okay? Like late in it okay? Main view model. And I can set up it here, okay? Main view model equals to view model providers of here I should pass the contest 
and I need to obtain the right view model okay for this instance like in case is my main view model main view model class.java okay set up the view model okay so in the next line we just can use our view model okay in our view model we need also a function to save a word in our database okay so we can have here like uh, save save phrase and here we we receive a phrase okay we need also a, a function that return uh, the phrases from database okay get so i will call it get all phrases okay with no parameters and that will return a live data okay this live data is of type list okay and my list is of type phrase just simple like that okay so I'm going to return uh, my data <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, the right name for this variable <laughs> okay I will just leave the, it data then I need a private private val data okay is of is equals to mutable live data okay of type list and of type phrase okay and here we just need to close this function is that is just to get an instance of that that variable okay we should not uh, left it as public okay we, we should never do that or you can okay it depends on you but i'm personally i like to return it in a function okay i can also do this it's Kotlin, you know so this return an instance of all my data okay and then i need a we need a function to call like load all data okay here we need to get load data here in this function we need to get all the data from database and notify our mutable live data okay so that every listener in this in this variable okay will just get updated and show the data in my in our main activity right okay what we are doing now uh, is just uh, after we we set up our main view model okay we just need to load okay we just need to load all the data okay so main view model okay load all data okay but before this we need to listen where when the data change okay so we need to listen for this variable here or for this function okay that return an instance of multiple live data 
So when we call this function, how our, how our live data will be updated, okay? So in our main activity, we just need to show how the data are saved, okay? So main view model. I, I need to, okay. Just want to re rename this function. But anyway, main view model get all phrases, okay? We need to observe, okay? Observe this, this live data. I just need to pass the lifecycle owner and here we just need to pass an observer import it for me please and here we go so the list will come at this point okay so after this met this function is called okay once this function is called, uh, how, our, how our live data will be updated, okay? And this body will be executed, okay? So that in this body, we just need to fill the, res the, the adapter, okay? Of our cycle view, and the changes will be applied in our UI. So adapter, added there. Oh. We need to create the uh, function to receive, okay, to insert a set of data in our adapter, okay? So I'm going to duplicate this function. I will call this added all. And here. I will give it a list of phrases and here I need to call add the whole phrases just like this and notify data set changes. So this will be added the whole and we pass it. Okay. But before it we need to check if uh, the list is not empty. Okay. So if it is empty, is new, okay, is sorry. If it is empty, okay, if it is empty, uh, we need to show, okay show a message like TV phrases and count we need to update this with okay no data we'll just give it a message a simple message and then stop the execution okay and we're ready to go so if the horror list is empty, we'll just show a message and stop the execution. Else it will show all the phrases. Okay. List and for change. Okay. And update the UI. So that's it. We almost almost ready. So we just need to load the whole data from our repository. So see you in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and share with others, your friends. Thank you.